Salve, this was a requested video. Alright, how do you convince conservatives to become fascist or imperialistic? Well, it's actually simpler than you think. Well, in some ways. In some ways it's complicated and it's going to be an uphill battle, but as we know, it's worth it. I saw a meme, it was pretty good. It was, it was like, a, it said, conservatives, people too stupid to realize they're fascist. Which, of course, I would change that to conservatives, people that are too stupid or gullible to realize they're fascist or imperialists. But anyway, um, the easiest thing to start with is you have to get them to understand that there is a time that is approaching, and it's coming very quick, where they must realize the two parties cannot coexist. Democrats, Republicans, conservatives, liberals, we're tearing the nation apart. Well, in, in a lot of ways, we're tearing the world apart. So, inevitably, there's going to be a conflict. I'm trying to use uh, abstract language so we don't get this video pulled down, but you know what I mean by conflict. It's coming. And they have to pick a side. There will be no middle ground. You're either going to be on the right or you're going to be on the left. And make no mistake, this conflict will go on until there's only one of us left standing. Either us or them. There is no coexistence in nature, and there won't be in the political realm. Make no mistake, this conflict is unique in the fact of, this goes beyond politics. This is a cultural war. Are you going to be culturally moral or immoral? Christian or degenerate? Right or left? It's usually best, if you're trying to convince somebody to become fascist or imperialistic, to start with Mussolini. As the father of fascism, he is a good entrance point. Now, how you get them to start with him is you have to re uh, you, you have to wake them up. Actually, before I continue with that, I said to start with Mussolini, but you know the person you're trying to convince. If another fascist or imperialist leader would work, start with them. Like Oswald Mosley works for some people because he's about economics. But anyway, you know, I did this with my with a friend from college. You know, he was a staunch conservative, you know, anti-liberal, anti-communist, and I just started to talk to him about it and teaching him real history. See, that's that's the biggest thing is you have to get them to understand they have been lied to about history. Revisionists, all sorts of stuff like that, they have twisted history into nothing but lies. And then if you go out and you find out the true history and you try to spread it, you're called fringe. What worked to help get him on the path, which he's not there fully, but, you know, is, is the Christian connection. People need to understand that clerical fascism is a thing. That the Christian church and fascism and the Christian church and imperialism have went hand in hand for years. And just suddenly now it's a problem? I don't think so. Look to history. That is what will help convince people. Showing them the facts. You know, conservatives and Republicans, they're known, well, not so much Republicans anymore. Republicans might as well be Democrats at this point. Conservatives. Conservatives are known to accept facts and logic, unlike our enemies, right? Well, if you use facts and logic to them, they should come around eventually. You just have to show the evidence. My friend, uh, you know, I've told him so much about what fascism and imperialism actually is that he told me one day, he was like, Thomas, it's, it's, it's honestly like I'm waking up out of the matrix. And it is. The way the culture is today, you are programmed to think a certain way. You are programmed with, with to, to despise these things. And a lot of that's because of the freedom cult, which, you know, Democrats and classical liberals have pushed for, for so long since, like the Founding Fathers. The Founding Fathers, with the exception of a few, were tainted by liberal democratic filth. You know, not the Federalists, but we'll get on that later date. This freedom cult that America has spawned, that somehow freedom is the objective greatest things on this earth, or, or, or democracy. Democracy is somehow the objective truth of this world, when in reality, that's not the way it is. Does, Chris, uh, does, does Jesus run a democracy in heaven? No. He runs an autocracy. He runs an empire. He runs an imperial state. He is the sole leader, you know, in history, back, back in the day. If you were a conservative, you were an imperialist. They say, oh, you're a conservative, so that means you support the crown. And you say, yes. It was the, the liberals that supported freedom of speech and democracy and, and all those things in like the 1800s, 1700s, things of that nature. You were a liberal if you didn't support the crown. Let's bring that back. 
Now the biggest point of this video is what the guy actually asked me to make the video on. He said, how would you teach fascism within a Christian context to someone else? Here's how. You point out that most of the fascist movements which came out in the day were Christian, eccentric. You know, like the Romanian Iron Guard and Franco Spain. Fr you use Franco Spain as a prime example because that uh, Spain, the Spanish Civil War, is a good look at what could happen in America. You have the Republicans and the Communists, and the Christian fascists and the Nationalists, and tensions get to such a point that it they could not coexist. Franco led a coup, civil war. And as we know, the forces of good prevailed, and communism and the Republicans were crushed under the heel of the fascist Christians and the nationalists. Show him that history. You are going to have to work on helping them realize that fascism is not a satanic thing. Because that's what everybody's been programmed to think, mostly because of the Nazis. But we'll come back to that. Nazis weren't even fascists. But anyway... The fact of the matter is, is that fascism and imperialism is a reactionary movement. You know, the, liberal, the liberals aren't wrong when they say, oh, you're reactionary. Yeah, we are. Maybe if more people were reactionary, we wouldn't have gotten to this point. No, instead people just want to sit and complain and don't want to do anything. Fascism came about as a reaction to socialism, liberalism, and communism. Europe was under siege by these entities, just like how the world is under siege by these entities today. You know, don't think communism is gone because the Soviet Union has fallen. No, communism and all of its degeneracies have taken a new form. It's, it's liberalism. You know, there is still this massive corruption in the world, and we are getting to a point where you're going to have to choose. Are you going to react and fight for a better tomorrow to purge this filth, or are you going to die? Because make no mistake, the liberals are going to kill you. It is going to get to a point where you will be removed. You know, that conflict is coming. And they have to understand that it is their Christian duty to stand up for what is right. Fascism did this back in the day. It failed because the world united under communism and democracy. Oh, don't even get me started. America and Russia screwed the world when they destroyed fascism. And they have done everything in their power since then to demonize it and to destroy what it actually is. It's a violent conservative, most times Christian reaction to evil and degeneracy. That's what it is. Show them this historically and they should come around. But I've got good news. The field is ripe. People are getting fed up with the way things are. As things get worse, it will be easier and easier to convince conservatives to become fascists and imperialists. We have a duty to do this. So yes, go out there. Show them the true history convert them to fascism and imperialism. It is the way. And the field is ripe, as I said. I can't tell you how many people I've heard say, we just need to get rid of everything and start over. Yes. Yes, we do. That is what fascism and imperialism can do. No more half measures. Take the full measure. Take up the fasces. Become fascist. Become imperialist.